OK, hi there, Jeff back again. Let's take a couple of minutes to think about how we draw marginal and average revenue on a diagram. Now, average revenue is, in fact, the demand curve. It's the price per unit that we can sell a given quantity of units at. It's the price that people, consumers, are willing and able to pay for a product. In this situation, uh, the demand curve is downward sloping. And to sell the extra units to go from Q1 to Q2, we have to lower the price from P1 to P2. Now, you'll see here that revenue goes up because the blue area we lose because we're selling at a lower price per unit. But the orange area is much bigger. Can you see there? Because we're selling substantial extra quantity, the number volume of units. So consumers are quite price sensitive here and therefore total revenue will go up. But the marginal revenue isn't P2 because to sell the extra units from Q1 to Q2, we've had to lower the price from what it was before. But the marginal revenue will be positive, albeit falling. And this is how we draw marginal revenue. Uh, you don't have to prove it mathematically, by the way, but it has twice the gradient of the demand curve and falls at that steeper rate. It's still positive because cutting the price from P1 to P2 does increase total revenue. Now, in the exam, if you have a downward sloping demand curve, again, you won't have to prove this in A-level or IB, but if the demand curve is downward sloping, uh, I've taken it to both axes here. There's a price at which people won't buy the product at all, and there's a kind of demand at a zero price as well. If that's the demand curve, see where it cuts the x-axis, the marginal revenue curve must lie below and there it is, it has twice the gradient, so it cuts the x-axis at the point halfway along the, from where the demand curve cuts the x-axis. So marginal revenue lies below average revenue and cuts the x-axis at the halfway point. Actually, that's the point at which price elasticity of demand is equal to 1 around the point change in price there. At uh, there we go, I've put in a little couple of quantities there, x1, x2. So if the average revenue cuts at x2, the marginal revenue curve will cut at x1, and x1 is half of x2. So in the exam, just remember to practice drawing the average and marginal revenue curves this way, so you get a nice, accurate diagram. At x1, uh, that equals uh, at price p1, x1, that's the highest total revenue. Let me shade it for you. There we go. That is the highest revenue a firm can get. If they lowered the price below P1, can you see the marginal revenue would be negative? And in fact, cutting the price below P1 would bring down total revenue. So that's the way to draw the average of marginal revenue curves. As I say, you won't be asked to prove it in the exam, but it's important to draw accurate diagrams. And in the next video, we'll just say a few things about the importance of marginal revenue to businesses.